Okay, so today I'm gonna uh, work on installing some windows, or at least one window. On the uh, first things first, I have to remove these middle beams. So I removed one here. You can kind of see some of the shadow of uh, previously putting that on, I guess. Or... So I've got to remove this other one. These are both gonna be above. These windows I'm installing are from CL Lawrence. I bought them online, uh, and they'll be over the bed on both sides in the back. Uh, next, I need to actually cut out the hole for the window. Uh, I've got a template that I made from the window itself, which I also used to create a spacer. So I've got this spacer here that I created for my first window. The other window's in that box. That'll go on the inside of the hole when I cut it. The window will pop in from the outside with some putty on the outside to kind of seal it. And then I'll secure it to that spacer on the inside. Um, so here's my window here. And you can see here that there's this um, kind of uh, spacer piece here. This is from the CL Lawrence. This actually comes flipped upside down. So there's like a two and a half inch gap. But if you turn it up around, it's kind of reversible. And then my wood spacer on the inside will go here. And I'll secure this to the window frame, which is going to be coming in from the outside. The top is a little harder just because it's so thick um, width-wise, or it's so wide. So because I want the windows to be higher, I gotta kind of cut it higher. You can see here that they're just barely attached with these things, and the angle grinder does not fit in here, so I can't just go right in there and cut that. Um, I'm wondering if I can actually, I'm gonna try actually with a uh, hacksaw to do that. That might work better, to be honest. What I ended up doing is cutting like around here, and you can see it was like really tough. I ended up screwing up a lot of stuff, and then just kind of, once I had an end kind of uh, ripped up on one half, I basically just like tweaked the beam until it came off of those little things, and then I just kind of hammered them in and then sanded them. So I'm gonna see if the hacksaw works a little better on the top half here now that I have the bottom done, and then I can just yank the whole thing off. Alright, so that did end up actually working, and it, I don't know, it might have taken the same amount of time. I kind of scratched up the paint here. I can go over that with some, I'll just sand that and paint that again. I have some paint. Um, but that was, I mean, may have taken the same amount of time, but it was less annoying and less of a hassle, it seemed like, than doing it um, with the angle grinder. So I'm going to do that on the other one. Alright, so I got the other side done, and now... It was actually as literally as easy as giving a little yank. So I'm just going to kind of do some guide holes around the edge here on one side uh, with my screwdriver to kind of show where I need to line this up. And then on the other side, I'm just going to go and line those up on the interior of this. So I'm literally just going to take this same way and put it on the outside.
tape on to help reduce rattling as I go through and cut it. I'm gonna put some on the inside too. So I cut it too small, and now I need to figure out taking off about a quarter of an inch. Not a lot. It's going to be complicated the jigsaw. The window doesn't fit. So, I got it to dry fit, but it's pretty tight. I'm going to need to sand down the edges pretty well to make sure that's fitting safely and getting all the way flush with the van wall. Alright, so I got my window to fit by sanding everything down where I could or filing it down. Just doing uh, some rust paint over it to protect uh, the paint a little bit where I've kind of scratched it up and everything. And once this dries, I'm going to... Um, mount my spacer on the inside and then let that cure and then mount the window. And making sure that it's all lined up as much as it can be. Gonna work on getting this putty now on the outside rim of the window. And then once I have that done, I'm gonna put it in, pop it into place, and um, then we'll screw it in from the inside. So it turns out my dry fit of a window wasn't that much of a dry fit, and, and it doesn't fit, actually. So I need to take this whole window out. I think the biggest thing is that it would be really helpful to have someone helping me with this right now, not just having one set of hands. Hey, buddy. So I had to take the window out, and get one side a little wider because of this metal piece that was inside the window frame and I used the angle grinder on that because I couldn't imagine how many hours it would take to file away and that worked okay don't be fooled by how difficult this is done with doing the first window on the van got one on the other side obviously to do as well and let me tell you, this was not easy. Uh, even though you think you have a stencil that fits, it might not totally. And when you go and you trace inside of a stencil, the trick is that you actually have to cut on the outside of that tracing. Sometimes I cut on the inside, sometimes I cut on the line. So there was a lot of areas where I had to really file it down. And then the last thing was that getting this really secure was really tough. And my screwdriver, even with all the maximum torque and hammer style, it just couldn't really get those last bits of tightening that it needed. So I needed my brother to push from the outside as I hand cranked with a screwdriver. So that was really tough. Um, overall, really not like a complex and hard process, but it wasn't perfectly easy to execute. And it was really helpful to have a second set of hands finishing it down the line.
Yeah. Should I use a driver? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is that what you used last time? No. Oh, then yeah, for sure. Okay, and then, then we need my new song. Now <laughs> Loves this song. I like it too. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, I haven't heard this version yet.